Hello everyone, welcome back to a mod review. Today we will be taking a look here at a variety of mods. All the links can be found down below in the description of today's review. Up first, we will be taking a look here at a 2017 Ford F450 flatbed. Now, previously, this truck here with the stock single rear wheel bed has been released. In this store, this can be found under the cars category. It has a starting price of $41,000. Now, when you do change it here to the Bradford bed, it changes the wheels, the badging, and also uh, the flatbed here, which is pretty neat. It's color changeable, the flatbed's color changeable, uh, DRW bumpers, so many different options uh, that can be done and also diamond plate or uh, the rubber uh, flooring. As we take a full walk around, you guys can see this is one sweet truck. I really do like the 2017 body style. Now, I did get the option here for the winch, and these tires look amazing here. Look at those. Uh, they do look pretty cool here. Now, this F450 does look pretty nice, and I really do like the uh, bed detail here. Those LED lights, the uh, drop hitch, and this thing looks really, really nice. Once we hop here on the inside, it has a top speed of 75 miles per hour really quickly. This pretty much has all of the uh, options that it previously had as well, uh, which is awesome there. So let's really quickly check out all the lights you guys can see. Those work reverse lights, everything. Wow, this thing looks uh, pretty neat here. Now, this is similar to the one I've already reviewed, uh, just a bit different here with the different bed. But wow, this truck is pretty nice. I've gotten quite a few requests lately to do a mod review. I'm trying to do them as more mods and mods come out. And until then, I do uh, not want to do one every week, just uh, when there's enough mods. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a 2020 uh, GMC regular cab flatbed. In the store, this can be found under the cars category. This has a starting price of $20,000. Now, it is color changeable here. The design color is actually the fenders, and the main cab color is color changeable as well. Lots and lots of ones, and you do have some specialty forge. I really, really do like these wheels. They do look nice. The American Force and uh, the AF uh, chambers and the stock. Now this truck was previously released by someone as the regular cab uh, stock dually bed, which is pretty nice. I uh, really do like those wheels here. This thing looks awesome. Now if you do enjoy today's review, please leave a like. It really lets me know you guys want to see more of these, and it also helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Now I really do like this bed, but I kind of think this bed is more European-ish. So let me know down below what you guys think. Their top speed of 100 miles per hour. It does have a first person view, but it's not too detailed. Why don't we take this here for a spin and see how it handles. I hope everyone's been having a great day so far. My day's been pretty good. It's been really hot out. I've had the AC cranked on here and just uh, kind of staying inside these last few days. Now I'm really excited that more regular cab trucks are coming into a uh, farming simulator just like this one here. Now this is pretty cool. I actually want to showcase the lights. Uh, the headlights are a bit different, uh, which is okay. And we'll take a look at that here once we get it parked up. Now for these reviews, I do feature quite a lot of trucks here and some other unique mods, but I definitely want to feature more and more uh, tractors and things like that. So look at that guys, LED lights, those look awesome. Now up next, we will be taking a look here at our old Ford flatbed. In the store can be found under the new uh, mods category here. And it's a 1964 Ford T850, $8,500, and it is color changeable here. Lots of new colors, very unique colors, I will have to say as well. Some of these uh, do look nice, kind of the old-fashioned style ones, which is awesome. So you do have the default and the hitch, if you would like it as well, here in the back. And you do have a few different engine options. As we take a full walk around, you guys can see this looks awesome. I really do like the front end of this. Maybe, uh, just maybe we'll have to use this in the new farming series. Really do like the chrome toolboxes. This is in really good condition as well for an old truck like this. Once we hop here on the inside, it has a top speed of 52 miles per hour. Now on the inside view, we do have working mirrors and let's see, let's see, the gauges do work as well, which is pretty neat in its manual, uh, which is awesome. Now look at those seats. I actually really do like that plaid, uh, if you would call it there, but wow, this thing looks awesome. Now there are straps here on the bed as well, which is neat. This thing just looks pretty cool. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a Nissan car. In the store can be found under the cars category. 
It has a starting price of $17,000. Here it is, color changeable, and uh, there's a few different engine options and it's some different wheels as well. Some very unique wheels, and uh, you could also change the color here if you would like. Uh, very interesting vehicle. Kind of looks to be uh, kind of the stance is what you call it. Uh, kind of looking a bit sporty, you know, very, very nice. Kind of, uh, kind of race car is probably the best way to say it. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed of 155 miles per hour. Now this thing has a really fast acceleration. Almost seems like it is a drift car. Yeah, pretty much seems like it's a drift car because I'm drifting uh, with the steering wheel here. Maybe just maybe we'll have to go drifting uh, maybe around uh, the streets, maybe late at night or on the track. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a dune buggy. In the store, this can be found under the cars category. And it has a starting price of $2,500 here. And the only option is uh, to change the engine. As we take a full walk around, you guys can see this is pretty cool. Really do like it. It's a pretty simple design, but this thing just looks awesome. A bit more texture work could be done to it, uh, but other than that, this thing does look pretty cool. Now, let's hop here on the first person view. This thing looks awesome. Look at that. Working gauges has a lot of get up and go factor, I will have to say. And looks like the suspension is pretty good on it as well. And wow, this thing is pretty neat. Really want to take this to the sand dunes and off roading. Just have some fun. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a cement truck. This can be found under the trucks category. It has a starting price of $56,000 here, no store options, and it has 420 horsepower. As we take a full walk around on you guys and see, this is pretty uh, awesome. Really do like that we have more and more cement trucks here in the game. Once we hop here on the inside, you guys can see top speed of 51 miles per hour. Now, one thing this does not show that it does hold cement there, but it is mouse controlled, which is pretty neat if you do want this to kind of go back and forth there. That's a neat feature and definitely maybe for just role play purposes uh, to have maybe at the shop. But other than that, it won't really function. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a 4640 pack. In the store, can be found under the small tractor category. And here we go. So you guys can see you do have quite a few options here. You do have uh, the two-wheel drive, the four-wheel drive, and just a few different ones as well, just from visually as well. And they all start around $50,000. As we take a full walk around on you guys and see this is pretty sweet. Probably one of the best older tractor mods I've seen here in the game. This thing just looks awesome. So let's hop here on the inside. We'll check everything out. Beacon lights, everything like that do work here. And look at this first person view. We'll be using this on our farm maybe. Uh, this will be one of our starter uh, kind of farm tractors. I think that will be neat. But definitely one awesome, awesome looking tractor. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a smaller Deer Mini Excavator. This can be found under the miscellaneous category, under uh, the kind of trailer section. And it, it costs $247 here and 39 horsepower. As we take a full walk around on it, you guys can see this is pretty uh, sweet. It's a simple model, but it looks great. Once we hop here on the inside, 4 miles per hour traveling speed, and everything does work here on it. You do have the uh, blade that goes up and down. Everything works. I will actually switch over here to the controller here for just a moment, and this thing looks awesome. I can't wait to use this coming up. And uh, same controls I have noticed as the Bobcats, and this has a big, big bucket as well for grading, which will come in handy. Up next, we will be taking a look here at an old John Deere Skid Steer. In the store can be found under the skid loader category. Now this is the same modder making them all rustic, which is pretty awesome. Same store options as what I've previously reviewed. Let's hop on the inside here and take a quick look. I really do like the rustic look if you're doing barn fine or uh, you just want to kind of buy an older uh, used piece of equipment for pretty cheap. Up next, we will be taking a look here at this class, a camper. Very interesting camper. It almost seems like there's a first person view here on the inside, which is pretty neat. And then last up here, we will be taking a look here at a salt spreader. Both of these uh, can be found under the miscellaneous category. 
And let's take a look at the Assault Sparta. Let's get backed up here to it, and it should work there as we go. So there we go, guys. We got to attach uh, the supports come up there, and it straps down here to the bed, which is pretty neat. Now, one thing the monitor did do was make it adjustable, so you could fit it in all different types of beds and heights as well. And you could also adjust the back height here, and finally, the height here on the bed, which is pretty neat. Let's kind of get it adjusted right there, and let's take a quick look. Overall, this is one pretty cool mod, and there's a few different options here. You could have it as a salt spreader, as a fertilizer spreader, so many different things, which is pretty neat. I hope everyone enjoyed today's FS19 mod review. Go check out all the links down below. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.